Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always, as we say every single day. Please check out the description box uh, for all the nice beautiful links, Twitter, all that stuff. Um, also drop a like and subscribe if you like the content because that really, really helps me out. And uh, it doesn't cost you anything, really. Um, but only if you like the content, okay? But here we go. So we worked with the animation system, the animation component, uh, a whole lot in the past videos. Okay, so we made it work. Now, what I did is not Resident Evil. That's also something I'm doing. Uh, what I did was I went into my resources folder and I had these two sprites laying around, right? The idle left sheet and the walk left sheet. So they're two different animations. So I just use the program, the free, uh, a free uh, image editing program to create um, a, a sheet out of these. And I'll keep building on this sheet as we make more characters. Now, I'm not going to use this sprite, like I said, since we're making a, a top-down view and this is for a side-scroller. I could make a side-scroller later using these other cool sprites, uh, which is something I want to do, but never mind. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, so I created this, this sheet, okay? Now, one sprite is one of these is 192 in height and width okay we said that now the other one is also 192 in height and width so it's very important and the bottom of the sprite is touching the bottom of this uh, large image and this is right on top of the limits the top one is right on top of the limits of the bottom one so this is very structured they're not just here like randomly because if you have any slight uh, variation in in the uh, uh, what do you call distances between the sprites here you're gonna see that in the animation in the sprite animation it's gonna look really weird and there is something that looks weird in the bottom one for me because I haven't really uh, managed to make it completely right uh, I'm still working on that um, now I'm not saying I made these sprites I'm just saying I put them together in a sheet anyway so I used GIMP and the way that looks let me just show you that quickly uh, because it's free and it's a really good powerful editing tool now the way I do uh, put together these uh, these things from single images, if you want to make a large uh, texture sheet, you use a program like this, and then you use some kind of a a the layer system in these programs to kind of help you out in placing these. See how they're like exactly on the limits of the bottom one, and if I uh, I have something like a ruler almost, uh, it's called background. Here you go. So I made these 192 by 192 pixels, and they're kind of here to help me show the bounds uh, which I can work in for all of these. And there's always one type of anchor point in these sprites. So you want to keep that anchor point centered and, uh, and make sure they're all centered kind of. So there you go. That's how that works. And then I just save this. If I want to add one more, I'll just resize the image to three times 192, and then I'll add another uh, series of sprites. I hope that made sense. Anyway, I'll just close that. So I do have my PNG image here. If you want to download that, just go ahead and do that uh, from GitHub because that's where I have them. If you have your own sprite sheet, go ahead and use that. Uh, but I recommend you to use this for just for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and, and make sure that works. Now, if I go into my player.cpp, uh, close all of this. Here we go. So I added an animation for idle. Okay, I'm just going to check so that works still. Um, and this, the way this animation component works, it makes it really easy for us to, to add new animations and new series of animations, basically. A series of sprites easily. Uh, using this one texture sheet. So I know in the previous video, I was like, you know, please leave it in the comments, blah, blah, blah what do you want to see? Uh, but I guess you're seeing this video a long after... <laughs> I actually made it because I, I put them in timers. Um, so yeah, I just I just went with this style where where we have one large texture sheet and all everything's in there. It just makes it a little easier. So now I'm gonna make another animation and add it to the component, and I'm gonna call it uh, walk walk left. And now I need to think. I need to go in. <coughs> excuse me. I need to go in. I need to open this. I need to think because there are more sprites in the top one than the bottom one. 
So I got to count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I got to go from 0, the 0x. And also you got to think about this. You got to think about that it, it's bottom. This It goes down one. So you want to you want the system to loop through these, not the top one. So we need to set the y to 1 as well. So we'll be at y1 and x0 up to up to 11. Uh, so what you do is you let leave the x at 0. You set 1 at, on the y just to go down to the other series. And instead of 13 here, I'm going to set 11. And I'm going to put 1 here as well. Uh, and the width and the height still the same. Still the same. Uh, and there you go. There you go, pretty much. So now we have the walk left animation added to the system. Now we can play that animation calling the key. Okay, that's very, very simple. Um, now what I'm going to do in movement component, we're going to work with that a little bit. We're going to add a some booleans that tell us where we're moving and what the hell is going on. Okay, and we're going to get that through getting the velocity at any time. So if the velocity is... Uh, going to the left and bottom we're going to be moving left bottom if velocity is zero we're at idle um, and so on and so on so that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna calculate that the thing i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go into movement component dot c dot h movement component dot h i'm gonna open the h in the cpp file and i'm just gonna add a very simple accessor here um, or I'm just going to add it under functions. Boolean. Uh, const bool is idle. Uh, or just say idle like that. Const. I'm just going to define this. So this is going to be a very, very simple. Whoops. Uh, very simple function. It's going to tell us if the character is not moving at all. Um, so, if this velocity x equals zero dot f, and this velocity dot y equals zero dot f. Now, it's not good comparing floating point variables to zero, exact zero, because that's rarely the case. But in our case, um, what we're doing we set velocity to zero at the times it's not moving see so we set velocity to exact zero when we know we're not moving so for for that because of that we can call this function and and compare these to exact zero so return true um else turn false you don't need the else there you just need the return false uh, excuse me return god damn it okay so there we go now we had double no we need to remove don't have a semicolon here that's dumb don't do that so there you go return true if it's idle so now we can use this okay and I'm gonna go ahead and use that now in player um, where I'm gonna do this if this movement component idle Okay, if it is idle, else we're going to play. And this isn't how we're going to, whoops, I don't need that. This isn't how we're going to do it. We're going to have a intricate uh, system where we'll be able to get the status of the animation component. We'll, we'll, we won't have idle here. We'll have a function called get status, and it will kind of just return a number. And, and we'll have enumerations where will tell us, which way the character's moving, jumping, what the hell's going on, right? So we'll have a very nice system where we can get the state of the player. And that'll help us animate the player. Uh, so we don't have to do the animation in the movement component because we don't want to do that. Um, walk left. Because that's what it's called. Now, before we get started with this, please bear with me here. You need to go into game state. And we need to change this. Whoops in the textures because that is fine here player sheet now it is called I think it is called player sheet uh, I'm just gonna copy the exact sentence and put it here so we load the correct texture for the player in the game 
uh, and then we create the player using that texture and and we should be we should be fine we should be fine uh, so if I run this now hopefully we'll have a nice little animation just in time for ending the video uh, so let's see come on baby let's go let's do this come on you can do it you can do it there we go new game Ooh, that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome you see so even if I'm moving that way it's kind of I know that the right isn't correct obviously he's moonwalking but I mean it's it shows you the the way this is supposed to supposed to happen right and then we're gonna add a thing to the uh, movement component or the animation component where we can kind of customize um, uh, what do you call it the, the speed of the animation on the fly okay and just manage that with a the speed of the character so the animation is slower the slower the character is moving because you obviously you want to do that and if you don't want that system or if you don't want that feature uh, we'll have another function which just lets us play it without any modifier so we're basically going to make another play function with a modifier so we can modify it on the fly um pretty much pretty much that's how it's going to work that's how it's going to work all we'll use the, f the same function and have a little modifier here um with a default value so you don't have to use it if you don't want to uh so there you go there you go there you go cool guys and girls there you go that's a animation and a sprite sheet now we see it's working in the next coming videos probably going to talk about that modifier thing i just talked about and also uh, make a movement component give out a nice enumeration value which we can use and then we'll work on the editor and some engine stuff because we need to get back to that uh, but thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me i really really appreciate the support all you guys in the discord all you guys just man you guys are awesome i, I really really appreciate everything you really make me happy just by just by helping me out in the chat and everything so just a thank you to you big shout out to everyone all the mods and all the people in discord uh, and everybody writing comments here as well man i can't i can't believe it so thank you so much take care keep working hard and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye